Hi Pisces, getting ready to do your love reading. Uh, looking at um, from June 1st through June 15th. I hope everybody's doing really well. This reading is gonna be for Sun, Moon, Pisces. Also too, always pay attention in love readings to your Venus sign as well. Um, and it will most likely hopefully resonate for you. If you guys need something a little more personal, personalized, because this is going to be a general love reading, feel free to contact me. My information is below, and I will be glad to do a private reading. So let's take a look at Pisces Love Lives from June 1st through June 15th. I pre-shuffled off camera, meditated, and we're going to do a couple more shuffles here and get going. What's going on with Pisces Love Lives? Show me Pisces from June 1st through June 15th. Spirit Universe, what messages or advice do you have for the zodiac sign of Pisces in love? What's going on with Pisces, please? Show me Pisces messages and advice for the zodiac sign of Pisces in love. Love messages only, please, for Pisces. Pisces, if it resonates, please feel free to like, share, and hit the subscribe button. Again, because it is a general reading, it won't resonate with um, everyone, but hopefully you can take some of the reading and apply it how it fits. Again, it's for advice and guidance for the zodiac sign of Pisces from June 1st through June 15th. What's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising? Love messages for Pisces. Going on a Pisces love life, please. One more shuffle, and then I'm gonna be ready to go. Show me Pisces, please. Show me Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? June 1st through June 15th. I'm gonna use the Rider weight here, you guys, and then I also have the miniature Rider weight to clarify as needed. So overall energy for Pisces, you guys, is the Six of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Um, swords are all about our mental thoughts, and six is about balance. Um, and in order to gain balance in your love life, Pisces, some of you are deciding to kind of move away. Maybe you've had some type of clarity or you know resolution, and you know that you need to move away mentally, get into a better uh, mind frame go into calmer waters, move out of any turbulence within your love lives um, so that you can, again, either start over or, again, kind of smooth things out in your current relationship. But again, this is just all about moving on to a more peaceful place, um, especially, more specifically, mentally. Kind of get out of that mental confusion and go on to a better place. Um, coming into the current moment, Pisces, you have the Two of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, this is your energy. Cups are all about our emotion. But the Two of Cups, it can be a soul. I usually think of the Two of Cups as a soulmate card. But coming into the current moment, you may have a soulmate or somebody that you have a very strong tie or bond to, Pisces. But maybe right now you guys are just separated or you're not seeing eye to eye. Those that are, are in a current relationship commitment, you're just not seeing eye to eye. You're kind of breaking apart, not wanting the same things, maybe not on the same page. Or again, some of you Pisces might currently be in a situation where you're apart from your soulmate. Could be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. Um, your challenge for the next couple of weeks, Pisces, is the Four of Wands in reverse, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, the Four of Wands in the reverse, four is all about stability, but when it's in the reverse, there's a lot of instability right now uh, with you, Pisces. There could be a breakup of marriage or commitment or something that's really causing instability within the home. This is usually the marriage or commitment celebration card, but it's in the reverse. So your challenge for the next couple months, or a couple weeks, sorry, is going to be able to regain that that stability within your home, uh, perhaps bring a marriage or a commitment back together and just make peace, you know, within the home. And I think that's why your overall energy is the six of swords because you're trying to move away from turbulent times because you are aware that there's some type of instability going on within the home um, that is affecting, again, your home and your relationship with this two of cups in reverse coming into the current moment. What's on your mind is justice, Pisces, might be a Libra, but the justice in the upright is all about fair and equal balance, things going your way, um, you want the 
fair outcome. You want to see, um, you know, again, fair and just balance. Some of you guys actually might be going through a divorce with that four of wands in reverse. Um, the justice card can talk about legalities, but whatever it is, what's on your mind and crowning this entire reading is fair and just equal balance, things going your way. You want to see the right resolution, right? You want what's fair coming to you. Again, could be with a Libra or just, again, trying to balance out things in your love life. Could be, again, going through some type of separation with the two cups here in the center of the reading and just as crowning it. Again, I think I have I have a feeling that a lot of y'all are actually going through some type of legal separation or divorce. If not, you just want things to be balanced out in this situation. Again, because overall energy here is moving on to calmer waters. Um, the recent past, Pisces, you have the Nine of Cups in reverse. More of your energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, again, cups are about emotion, but this is turned upside down. This is in reverse. Those cups, you know, whatever's in those cups have fallen out, and you're not getting that wish fulfillment or that emotional happiness, okay? Um, something in the recent past just was not fulfilling you emotionally, or you didn't get that wish fulfillment that you were looking for, hence you're kind of moving on to calmer waters. Why it's all happening, Pisces, is the tower in reverse, sign of Scorpio. You guys, in the foundation of the reading, are avoiding something. You probably see something as disastrous within your love life, or just not built on a strong foundation. It's shaky, right? So instead of the universe coming in to disrupt whatever's going on, right now, Pisces, you guys are just looking to avoid some type of you know catastrophe within your love life or disaster you're avoiding it which is why crowning the reading you're seeking justice you want to balance out the situation what you're going to experience though coming in can um, cancer I just did cancer's reading what you're going to experience coming in Pisces is the Empress this is beautiful energy this is a sign of a Libra or Taurus um, but this is a new venture this is starting something brand new that has a lot of potential it's abundant it's um, a lot of growth. Um, in a love reading, the Empress is beautiful. She's above all the queens. She kind of embodies every aspect of every queen. Cut swords, wands, pentacles. She's beautiful. She's magical. And she has a lot of fertility. So whatever venture you're going after in your love life, this is bringing in that fertility and that abundance. Good things to come again within something brand new or, you know, a, a new aspect of your relationship. Again, some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Some of you, uh, Pisces too, might be trying to get pregnant. Um, a lot of times the Empress is the mother. She's the wife. Um, and obviously she's pregnant on there too. So some of you Pisces who are um, waiting, again, with this Justice card to things be balanced and to go in your favor, if you are trying to get pregnant or, you know, and things maybe in the center of the reading, this Two of Cups is here is just because it's caused some conflict within your marriage or relationship. Coming into the near future, um, some of you, again, not for all, it's only gonna resonate for a few, but um, some of you may find out that you actually are pregnant. If not, coming into the near future is just gonna be a feeling of self-worth. That Empress really does embody self-worth. You know your worth, you know you're the Empress. Um, and Justice is there crowning the reading to tell you the same. How you see yourselves right now, Pisces, is the moon in reverse. This is your card. Uh, Pisces and the moon in reverse is um, you know it, it can talk about coming out of anxiety and depression seeing things clearly um, maybe you no longer have a haze you know no maybe no longer things are hidden as far as your love life you see clearly you're no longer having fear or anxiety or depression either that or perhaps you something has come out you know maybe a secret or something again that was hidden deception or, or what have you uh, right now Pisces you see everything clearly um, again a lot of times too that can be coming out of some type of anxiety or depression that might be why the towers and the foundation Pisces because you're avoiding something or someone because maybe you see yourselves as 
finding out the truth or finding clarity within your love life having to do with somebody else. External to you, Pisces, in your environment is the Ten of Cups. More emotion, more water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now, this is external to you in your environment, so the energy towards you in your environment. Um, this is happiness within the home. This is wish fulfillment. A Ten is all about completion. So it's like happy life, happy dog, happy kids. You know, everybody's happy, having a good time. It's, a, it's at that Ten. It can also talk about just really, you know, diving into something that makes you really happy outside of the love relationship. We are focusing on love, but whatever's going on in that environment surrounding this person or their energy is bringing a lot of wish, you know, happiness and emotional fulfillment into their lives. They could be bringing this towards you, hence the empress energy. Again, all about abundance and new abundance within a relationship, growth and a lot of potential. In your emotions, Pisces is the seven of cups. Again, I see a lot of cups, a lot of emotion going on here. Seven of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Seven of cups in reverse is really coming to reality in a situation, seeing things for how they are, no longer living in any type of illusion or fantasy. In the upright, this can be confusion. It can be illusion. It can be living in a fantasy or having a lot of options and choices, which can bring on confusion. So in the reverse, Pisces, in your emotions right now, you see yourself as either not having any options in love right now um, and that might be why you're avoiding something or again you're coming to reality you see something for exactly how it is um, you're no longer living in any type of illusion or fantasy and because of that Pisces maybe that's why you're avoiding something because you see it for how it is again you also see yourself as not living in any type of deception or you know anything being hidden secrets have come out or again this can even be within yourself again the moon tends to hide things when the upright but in the reverse everything comes to light and I think that's why the seven of cups is in your emotions Pisces because you, you see reality you see See things for how they are right now. Most likely outcome Pisces is going to be the death card, sign of Scorpio. Some of you really are dealing with a Scorpio. We have the tower in reverse and the foundation, and then we also have obviously death in the most likely outcome. I like death personally. Um, <clears throat> it's all about transformations and new beginnings, um, endings to an old cycle that, so that something can replace it. And, you know, the death card brings in newness. It brings in things that are going to be abundant. It's a cycle. It's a change. It's shedding the old skin in your love life. So again, it can bring in, this death card can bring in something new. Hence, overall energy moving on to calmer waters because you guys see reality and you're avoiding something that either came out or that left you in some type of illusion in the past. You're no longer in that illusion. You see yourselves, this is your card. You see yourselves as the moon in reverse. You're not living in any type of fantasy or illusion. You see everything for how it is. Um, so we're going to go through and clarify uh, some of these cards here. But again, Pisces, with that death card as the most likely outcome, letting it end and transform so that this Empress energy can bring in something new and abundant in your love life, again, could be um, a Libra or a Taurus. But whomever's in your environment, they're bringing happiness and emotional fulfillment towards you. Um, if it's not this person that you're currently having, going through some ending or transformation with, and it's somebody new, could be another Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, but we're going to go through and clarify some of these positions and see what's going on. I'm going to use the miniature rider weight, you guys. And we're going to open up the reading and see what's going on. So show me clarifications for the zodiac sign of Pisces, please. Let's clarify these cards for Pisces. What can Pisces expect in their love lives from June 1st through June 15th? Show me Pisces. What's going on with Pisces, please? All right, let's go through here and see. Let's see why you guys have justice on your mind. Why is justice here? You know, I do see strong Libra here with this Justice card crowning the reading and then also with the Empress coming in. Uh, again, that's the sign of Libra as well. Um, but on your mind right now is Justice balancing out your love life or a situation within your love life. Um, you want things obviously to go 
in your favor to have a good outcome and be fair and equal whether that's just in your love life Pisces or if anybody is going through some type of legal separation or divorce justice can have something to do with legalities uh, but it looks like crowning the reading with justice it will go in your favor let's see why justice is here why is justice here for Pisces please Oh my gosh, y'all, this is another one of your cards here. Hanged Man, sign of Pisces. Hanged Man is being in limbo. It's stuck. It's waiting. It's waiting for the resolution that you want, but feeling like you just can't really move on until um, something is um, comes to light. Um, it's stuck. It's feeling in limbo. And because of that, you guys want fair and equal balance, Pisces, in your love life. You want something to go in your favor. And I think you feel kind of stuck. This is your card, Pisces. You feel kind of stuck, like you can't move forward until something is balanced out or goes your way. Or again, you guys might just kind of be in limbo with a Libra right now, not being able to move forward and feeling stuck. Let's see, why, why is the Two of Cups coming into the present moment? The Two of Cups is in reverse for Pisces. Some of you are dealing with another water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or this is just your energy, not seeing eye to eye, possibly with a soulmate. Uh, connection here. Why is the Two of Cups here, please? What is this Two of Cups for Pisces? What is this Two of Cups? Why is the Two of Cups? Clarify this Two of Cups, please, for Pisces. We have another card of the Four of Wands in reverse, you guys. Leo, Sag, Aries, instability within the home. So right now, you guys, Pisces, you're experiencing some type of breakup or separation from somebody, not seeing eye to eye, which is causing instability within the home. Again, a lot of you guys are going through some type of divorce or separation, um, and it's bringing a lot of instability within your relationship, obviously, as it would, um, or within the home. The Four of Wands in reverse can be a, a, a divorce or a break up within a commitment and bring which brings on a lot of instability obviously but let's see what you're avoiding here with this tower in reverse Pisces you guys are avoiding something could be a Scorpio uh, but let's clarify why is this tower here for Pisces what is the tower please please clarify the tower what is the tower for Pisces King of Wands, some of you guys are avoiding a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, um, but a lot of times the King of Wands is about action, and it's goals, it's moving forward with confidence and passion. King of Wands is, they, King of Wands, he or she, they know what they want, um, you know, they're going to move forward, taking a lot of action, they feel secure, passionate, um, go-getters, they're not going to just talk about it, they're actually going to do it and, and seek out exactly what it is they want. Um, so if this is your energy, Pisces, you're going to be avoiding a situation which you just know is bringing instability and a lot of imbalance within the home. And you're going to do so moving forward with confidence and, and taking action. This is all about goals and moving forward. Um, if you are not avoiding a, a fire sign, then I think Pisces that in the foundation here again is just about you moving forward confidently. Um, let's see what this empress is. Why is the empress coming into the near future for Pisces. Who or what energy is this Empress for Pisces, please? What is this Empress, please? And it's the Three of Pentacles. So coming into the near future, Pisces, you're either, there's going to be a Libran or a Taurus that's coming in that has a lot of potential for growth and abundance um, that may want to uh, bring some type of, again, uh, uh, teamwork. The Three of Pentacles can be about everybody seeing eye to eye, wanting the same things, the same common goals. Um, receiving your accolades um, and and you know everybody working together the three of Pentacles is again just wanting the same things having the same goals and seeing eye to eye so if this isn't with the person that you're currently with right now it could be somebody else coming into the picture that wants to help you out that has the same common goals as you and that wants to build something work as a team collaborate with you again could be a libran or a taurus or somebody that's just bringing a lot of abundance and beauty and fertility um, into your life 
that's a nice energy coming in. So if you guys are currently separated from somebody, this could be the person that you're separated from. Maybe they've taken some time and they realize that this relationship does have a lot of potential for growth and, and abundance. Um, and now they're coming in to try to work with you, be on the same page with you, um, collaborate with you in this love relationship. But right now you see yourself as the moon in reverse Pisces. This is your card. Having clarity, you know, no longer being depressed or anxious. Something maybe maybe came out and you, you see it for what it is now. Light's been shed. Uh, no more secrets, nothing hidden. So why is the Pisces the moon right now? Why does Pisces see themselves as the moon, please? Yeah, because of a lack of, of commitment. So right now, um, you know, Ten of Pentacles in reverse can talk about a lack of commitment. Um, you know, something that doesn't have any abundance within the home. It could be a lack of financial stability as well, though we are focusing on love. But something that's just not getting off the ground. It's in the reverse. Um, and it could be that you see that clearly now. You know what it is. Um, or something came to light. Some light was shed upon maybe somebody not wanting to commit but again coming into the near future you have an energy of somebody wanting to work with you um let's see why does pisces in their emotions have the seven of cups in reverse and remember you guys too external to you is the ten of cups so somebody in your environment you know wants to bring in this happy home happy life fulfillment emotional fulfillment sitting right across from this empress energy so whatever you guys are going through right now whatever kind of instability it's like things are going to equal out and be balanced even though you feel stuck right now and you're waiting for this justice to come in because obviously in the cur current moment we're not seeing eye to eye with somebody and there's some st instability within you guys and within the home and you're avoiding it right now it could be a fire sign that you're avoiding because you see it for what it is you see that somebody was probably a, com a commitment phobe in the recent past and wasn't really bringing that abundance into the relationship so you're moving on to calmer waters here with the six of swords overall energy but i see somebody wanting to bring good things to you wanting to bring that happiness and emotional fulfillment back and work with you but why uh why does pisces have the seven of cups in reverse in their emotions seeing the reality of something not being confused knowing exactly what's going on yeah, Page of Swords. Page of Swords normally is, is going to communicate something. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But in your emotions right now, you probably want to communicate to somebody the truth. Sometimes they can be a little immature with their communication, a little bit biting, but it's normally truthful. It can hurt a little bit. It can sting a little bit. Um, but they're going to get across the truth and exactly what's on their mind. So Pisces, you may see the reality in a situation right now for what it is. And you're probably going to communicate that to somebody. It could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius or also two Pisces that page of swords can be like the little stalker a little spy of the deck too so maybe you guys found something out maybe you guys were digging a little bit found something out and that's why you see yourself as the moon in reverse because nothing's hidden anymore um, could have something to do with a long-term relationship here because in your emotions, you're not living in a fantasy land. You are in reality. And again, with the Page of Swords clarifying, it could be that you uncovered something. You decided to dig something up. And you're probably going to communicate that, whatever it is that you found. We have death as the most likely outcome. Yeah, it could be an ending or it could just be a transformation within the relationship. Uh, Scorpio here with the death card. But letting something die, either completely within a relationship um, and going in a new direction or uh, transforming something within your current relationship. Because again, I see all this like good energy coming towards you. It's almost like somebody goes through some type of transformation and maybe it's because you're gonna communicate, you found out something. But let's see, why is death here? Why is death here for Pisces? Most likely outcome is death. What is death please for Pisces? Yeah, it's going to be something that, um, you know, you guys might just decide to lay down a situation. When I say lay down, it means kind of just put to, put to the side, not wanting to deal with it anymore. Because at one point, you may have felt overburdened. Ten of Wands is a lot on your plate. It's a lot of burdens. It's carrying a, a heavy load. It's a ten, which is the end of a cycle. But in the reverse... Um, it's laying it down. It's getting rid of all those heavy burdens because the most likely outcome is some type of either ending or transformation. 
within a current relationship. It's going to be, you know, different for everybody, but the most likely outcome could be an ending and transformation because you guys see reality. You see it for what it is. That's all over this reading. And by ending and transforming, you have this Empress energy coming in, you know, abundance, a lot of good things, self-worth, and then the Three of Pentacles, somebody to actually work with you, bringing this Ten of Cups towards you. For others of you, this will be a transformation within your relationship because there's justice crowning the reading. Could be a Libra. So yeah, right now you're not seeing eye to eye with somebody, but somebody's almost like transforming and bringing back this emotional stability towards you and now wanting to work with you. So it's going to go, you know, a couple different directions for different folks that I'm, you know, reading for here. But regardless, the most likely outcome is either an ending because it was just too much burdens and you want to lay down those burdens, move on to calmer waters with that Six of Swords overall energy or a transformation within your current relationship and you guys are transforming and laying down any heavy burdens that were, uh, you know, uh, causing a lot of instability within the home. Um, so not a bad reading, Pisces. Again, there's going to be a couple different scenarios for you guys here, but you definitely were not getting wish fulfillment in the past. Not seeing eye to eye coming into the present moment, wanting justice, wanting fair balance. You feel a little bit stuck right now. Um, and again, uh, foundation situation here is just avoiding something. You could be avoiding a fire sign with this King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. Uh, but coming in, you're going to experience some good, some good energy, some good, beautiful energy. Um, Ten of Cups in your environment. You see things for what it is, and a lot of you found something out or came to reality about something and really want to communicate it. Um, you're going to be letting somebody know exactly what, either what you found out or what you came to reality about. Uh, which, again, the most likely outcome here could be an ending or some type of transformation because uh, you just feel too overburdened by what's going on. Maybe it's whatever you found out brought a lot of burdens and you're just deciding to end it. Um, but there you go, Pisces. I hope that helped. And um, I hope you guys have a really beginning, a good beginning to June. I'll be back mid-month for your mid-month June love readings. Until then, take care.